Hi, hello, hey, and welcome back to Rushed Vibes. And for those of you who are, who are first-time listeners, welcome to Rushed Vibes. I am Jess, accompanied by my co-host, production engineer, Dave. I'm calling you Dave today, even though I don't like when people call you Dave. Um... You don't like when people call me Dave? No, because you Why? always said that you didn't like being called Dave. So oh. then when people started calling you Dave, I'd get like real defensive yeah. on the inside. I'd be like, he doesn't like being called Dave. Don't call him Dave. And then you stopped caring. But I already like. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I wasn't called Dave until I moved down to North Carolina. And then everybody, Just everybody called me Dave. I used to be David or Rush or Rushing. But now it's just my aunt. My auntie Lena calls you Dave. She's the only person who I don't get upset with. Oh yeah, she yeah, does she call calls, me Dave. She calls you Dave. Um, auntie Lena. Uh, but like, she's the only person in life who calls me Jesse um, to this day after my grandma passed. But I don't know. I'm very sensitive about nicknames, so I think that's like the f- maybe the second time in ten years that I've probably called you Dave. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just so. Short. It's just so <laughs> not you. Like you're just not a Dave. Like I could never yeah. see you introducing yourself as a Dave. But anyway, um, I'm Jess. This is David, sometimes known as Dave, <laughs> and we are the two minds that make rush vibes. Vibes here in the Queen City. Rushed vibes holding it down. That's right. We're coming to you live, or recorded from Rush Vibes studios that still has easter decorations i was gonna say i forgot to take the easter decorations we down still have um and a tree a easter tree is still up it's still up but it's, it's become reason. just it's just a staple in the house now that it i don't is. know like once I we take it down i forget it's there yeah sometimes. it just it's been it's just here there. since what november uh, so once we take it down i just don't know the kids have adapted around it like they stopped bothering the ornaments now so it's just there. So I don't know what our life would be if we, like, it's just going to be an empty space if we if we take it down. Yeah. And I'm going to force to put something in that corner anyway. So it might as well stay there. Um, it, it adds to the festivity that I'm trying to create within within our family so that when our kids grow up, they can tell their friends or, like, whomever. Yeah. You don't have a seasonal tree? What? Like, what, you only what, put your tree up at Christmas what, time? What like, kind of life have you been living? What's so, wrong with you? So, yeah. Um, I will. I will at some point get some decor. Yeah. What are you drinking? I am actually drinking liquid IV. So, I have been crazy thirsty lately. And somebody I follow had recommended it. You're saying you have... The thirst? Yes. I have the thirst. <laughs> I've been thirsty. For, for hydration. Um, what, kind of, what kind of hydration? H2O. Of the male persuasion? <laughs> N- no. Calm down. Sit down. Be easy so, now. That's it for Rush Vibes. We're about to go upstairs. <laughs> appreciate no, free, so appreciate y'all tuning in this week. I've been super thirsty, but I've also I also have a very time sensitive bladder so if i drink enough to hydrate that like to, to suffice that thirst i'm just going to be using the bathroom every 10 minutes and i don't mm. have time for that um so i'm giving it a try it came with a sample because uh, i do mail-in birth birth control so what companies are now doing is they put samples of stuff i'm sorry i keep trying to talk to you but never mind um they put samples me, of, of miscellaneous products in these things so that people get an opportunity to try it so i figured before investing 20 bucks in getting uh i think it's like a 30 pack let me try what i've got and see if i actually yeah. feel hydrated so that's what i'm i'm drinking it actually tastes pretty good um so we'll see. I'll report back next week if it's worth worth the investment. What you got over there? Uh, I'm drinking Bud Light Platinum. Ooh. No, no, no liqueur tonight. I'm uh, going back to my roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for for any for anyone who's who hasn't tuned in, the, my famous 21st birthday story. Um, I went out to for celebrate turning 21 with my brother and some of his army friends, and my cousin Sabrina. And he was a drinking virgin. My cousin Sabrina you made came it out. to twenty one. My cousin Sabrina, can, can I? I just want. Let me I, do the, that's just such an important. Can I do piece the bit? Because I, just, I did not I make wanna, it to twenty. <laughs> I just want to do the bit. Quick bit. Uh, my cousin Sabrina came out, and I was having a Bud Light, and she was like, "You don't want a real drink." <laughs> so, 
you know, this was my this was my starter. This is my my uh, gateway uh, drink into the finer things in life, which is when we first bourbon and, started and dating. So we had gone to like a Halloween cheer, party. Here's, here's to AJ, my, my college roommate, who got me hooked on Bud Light. So we went to a Halloween party at was it Fitzgerald's? What was it called before it was Fitzgerald's? I can't remember. I don't know. But it was uptown, and he was sitting like on a bar stool and one of my friends happened to be I think she was the Miller Coors rep but he was drinking a Bud Light and he was like yeah I'll get my two step in a minute once this kicks in <laughs> I was like it takes a Bud Light to kick in before you get so a two step so that should have been my first doesn't warning take, doesn't take much that was that was that was definitely a flag I don't know if it was a red flag but it was a flag I should have been aware but anyway yeah. how you doing I'm good I'm, I'm, I'm excuse me I'm well I'm doing very well, but this is all about you because we're on the heels of Mother's Day. We are. How was your Mother's Day experience? It Did started it? great, and then I got I got sick. Um, but the day itself, it was nice. Uh, thankfully, our our youngest slept in to like eight fifteen. But that's yeah, that's, a that, that's, that's a big deal. That's considering we're all up at six throughout Oof. the week, so. That's a big deal. Like she, I saw a notification on my phone that there were like two noises that came from her bedroom. I didn't hear them because I was exhausted. I had just wrapped up uh, two back-to-back days of catering a leadership summit. So I came home and my body was throbbing. Like I was just aching. So thankfully when I came home, David had put her to bed. So she hadn't seen me because if she had, she'd probably been like, Hey sis, what's going on? Where you been? So she slept in and solace gave me, I I guess they planted flowers at school. So she, it's just a Bud Light Platinum. Calm down. It's high quality Bud Light Light Platinum. It's not just Bud Light. It's Bud Light Platinum. So she she gave me my Mother's Day gift. Put some respect on it. She said, happy Mother's Day, Mommy. I love you so much. And she's gotten so, like, she's always been sweet, but she's just gotten so sweet lately. Yeah. Um, so I got my Mother's Day gift from her. Savi woke up. David made me breakfast. I had bacon and eggs and sausage, which Savi ate most of. And like I, I, Oh, strawberries. Did I say sausage? You did say sausage. Oh, I meant and strawberries. strawberries. Um, I forgot the whipped cream, though. It's okay. So I, I, I had a piece of bacon in my mouth. And this little girl was sitting on my lap and took the bacon from my mouth. And it was y'all's bacon. As I was eating Not it. Not your bacon. And then took another the piece because Savi has to have whatever she's eating. She has to have one in each hand for balance. So I was definitely humbled. Like I was remind- There's a certain age that I think maybe it's like three or four until your kids reach that age. Like Mother's Day doesn't matter to them. They don't care. Like you're, it, it doesn't matter. You're just a, you're just a basic human being who provide sustenance to them and she really kept me like i was on this mother's day high like oh i got my breakfast made for me i got my little you know mother's day mimosa it was like an orange pineapple juice one and solace was being super sweet so i was like look here which you're not gonna get it from me um and then we got to spend the day with family um and then i unfortunately just fell ill um but it still it still was good and Tonight, David cooked me an amazing steak. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna start relinquishing my steak cooking because he um, he actually can cook, but I think he's convinced himself that he can't because he doesn't like to cook. No, I I'm, I just don't like to cook. It's not a matter of. So I'm hoping I'm hoping to, he's I'm gonna in I'm hoping he's gonna pick up cooking like more. It. I don't enjoy. Um, it. Because he does it, he, when he does do it, he does it really well. Like when we were first married, I think, or like the tail end of dating, transitioning to marriage, he used to make this like these rosemary chicken drumsticks, and they were really good. He hasn't made them in like five years, but they were really good when he did make them. Um, so hopefully, can you stop? He watches. I know, and I've thing. taken, I've handled it accordingly. Thank no, you. No, but it's still hitting it. It's not hitting it. It was. No, I, I recognized it and okay. I took care of it. You, you stay on your side of the studio and I'll stay on mine. You know what? He can't cook. 
His food's disgusting. That's even better for me because I don't have to cook no more. <laughs> but I'm tired. Perfect. And you know, when you're always cooking, when someone else cooks, it honestly doesn't have to be good. You just need someone else to be cooking. Mm, backhanded. That, that's usually how I feel. Back, like backhandedness. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off uh, because what's I'm, new? I'm I'm tired of this this assault what's on new? my my cooking abilities. Uh, we have a show tonight. We have some topics. One one main topic with a couple of subtopics that uh, we're looking forward to discussing. As, you know, we traded some source material uh, over throughout the week, early part of the week or last week, and leading up to because this is Monday. We're recording on Monday, May tenth. Um, and you know, we're just gonna g- get into it a little bit. So uh, we're gonna take our first break. We'll come back. We'll get into the uh, get into the topics, but. Before we do that, a little bit of housekeeping. Of course, as always, if you are new here at Rush Vibes, if you stumbled upon us because of some algorithm or some suggested video, one, we appreciate you. Welcome. We welcome you to the Vibe Tribe. Uh, we would just ask that you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoy what you've seen so far, or if you've looked at some of our other videos, because that, once again, helps us show up in the in the algorithm. So um, we're also on social media, Facebook, uh, and Instagram. Follow us there. Connect with us there. And uh, help us help us grow this thing. So once again, we appreciate everybody who's watched and listened, subscribed, uh, give giving us feedback, left comments. We we really do appreciate that. Um, it, it helps us keep a little bit of perspective in terms of our opinions and the things that we that we discuss, and also just helps us feel the love um, and allows us to engage with anyone who uh, who leaves comments. So keep doing it. We appreciate you guys. We'll take a first break, and then we'll be right back. Cool. Cool. All right. Now a word from. Our sponsors. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe Liquid just- IV <laughs> is a powder. <laughs> we'll be back. And we're back. I hope you enjoyed that lovely message from uh, our sponsor. Or just the little <laughs> noise that we, <laughs> that we put in on our... I don't even our, think it has that. I feel like it just it smoothly transitions. So no, I... Uh, well, for the video, for the YouTube videos that you don't watch... I'm just not. Yo, uh, yo, I'm about to. I'm about to let you in on something. So, we've been doing this for 25 episodes, right? Rush Vibes is 25 episodes old. Woo. I bet Jessica has only ever watched two. Of no, the YouTube, of the I've YouTube watched videos five on her own. I've watched two. <laughs> yeah. See, I know. just don't. I just don't need to watch myself, and it's a podcast, so it's I a listen. Video podcast, podcasts of. I they're, listen. They're, they're evolving. I listen in the car. Uh, in the car. Car. So, um, if you've paid attention to the to the headlines over the last week, and if you happen to be in the financial industry, you probably heard that Bill and Melinda Gates. Bill and Melinda Gates. What just happened? It's the Bud Light Platinum. Get. I'm ready. It's, 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 from, hitting, it's hitting me. Where are you from, man? It's hitting me. Bill and Melinda uh, Gates. <laughs> Melinda <laughs> Gates, man. Uh, they filed, they get a divorce. They announced that they get a divorce on Twitter. Twitter. Shoot. And um, they are so rich, so powerful, that they had to come out with a joint statement assuring everyone that they would still both be managing their the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation because if they had said like if Bill had said man <laughs> forget Melinda like the markets would have just like crumbled really? yeah they're, that they're, one they're, foundation affects the market that significantly Bill and Melinda Gates are like I mean they affect they, like every public school in the United States they're they're in a little bit of everything so it's crazy so the reason why one we're not going to discuss Bill and Melinda Gates because so, I got some choice things to say about them. So much. And some as, conspiracies to, to, that so, I could fall into. So much. I mean, we're going we're gonna to talk about them, but what I wanted, really wanted to discuss is the fact that, number one, uh, in 97, it came out that uh, Bill was allowed to spend one extended weekend a year with his ex-girlfriend. This was a, an agreement within their marriage that Melinda signed off on. Now, apparently, uh, Bill and his ex-girlfriend, they're like thinkers, big thinkers, and uh, they would they would connect at her beach house here in North Carolina 
um, and they would they would discuss ideas and, and things and whatnot. Sure, <laughs> I'm sure they did that at some point as well. So I oh, so you're assuming they did more than that? <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. Well, I I don't know Thought if it was just a it. friend, that'd be one thing. But I mean, an, an ex who you were with, it's like. Y'all know who else is a big thinker? The Holy Spirit. (laughs) Like, if you really need to think there, you have options. Yeah. The barista at Starbucks is a big thinker. Steven Spielberg is a big thinker. So. Your ex-girlfriend on a long extended weekend. Okay, let me stop. No, I'm just. We're getting into it too soon. Carry on. The question is, is just how do you feel about that? Because this is, is true. And is that something you could ever see yourself (laughs) <laughs> being okay with either doing or signing off on as a, as a spouse i'm glad my I, I i i'm not melinda she's I, I don't know if i should say she's a better woman than me or what i will say every relationship has its its thing um and this is clearly what are you doing i'm trying to get back and focus on the camera oh no uh, and i guess this is their thing that that's that's not going to fly in my marriage. Uh, even when we were dating, if you knew how many disagreements David and I got into because of female friends, friends. Um, I believe the term is acquaintances. It's acquaintances now. But back then, oh, we're just friends. Just we're friends. just friends. Oh, but girl, when I hit him with the I'm just girl, friends with somebody, girl, that's, he, that's he'd my, be like, that's oh, well, you know, I know how guys work. That's my friend, girl. So, no, tripping? that's not something that would ever, I don't care how many billions, doge, money, whatever, cryptocurrencies you have. Um, no, absolutely not. You're not. No, that's just not going to happen. Why, why, why do you feel that way? Because just like you implied, he's essentially s- screwing his ex-girlfriend and and labeling it as I think it's, big thinking so I, I was, for I was, one long weekend. I was, I was being a little... I was being a little. Ob- I, I was being a little obnoxious, but there's obviously there's potential for it. Seeing that yes, that was part of their, their pri- that was part of their prior. Does relationship. Melinda have a, a an extended weekend with an ex? I don't know. That didn't make it into the article. If it if it was a thing, because it should be tit for tat. Like if if he can have an extended weekend with an ex, who's a big thinker, then she should also well, I, have that same. I, was, I, was, I, I don't understand why she'd write well, off on that. A part of the article I read, there was a uh, there was a a, a doctor. Who specialized in big in, thinking and in, in these and in, in marriage and relate in relationships and said that um this is something that you know relationships can get to a certain point where they want to they want to they had just be been healthy. married i don't they, they hadn't just been married but it, they had been married they hadn't been as married as long as they are now I mean, it was less than five years if the article came out what in 97 they got married in 94 so i'm trying to let me you asked me. Before you volley back, let me let me let me serve first, okay? Um, that it can be healthy as long as there are, there are certain parameters set. Um, and like that, not and being that at a beach house for an extended weekend by the, yourself. As long as as long as the, the the two people in the relationship they agree on whatever the parameters Which relationship? are. Relationship, the extended weekend relationship, the, or the actual the, marriage. The marriage. Okay. Um, they agree. To certain parameters and they abide within those, then it it can. It so can, what? Like use a condom? Work. Nah, just like okay, no, you're no allowed kissing. to you're allowed to go to the beach for a weekend with your ex. Um, okay, Sarah, Sarah. And you know, I'm sure I'm sure there was there were things that Melinda was was able to do as part of their agreement. The only thing that made it out into the press was the fact that Bill got to spend time with his ex, uh, his ex girlfriend for an extended weekend once a year. Um, I, don't, I don't condone this. So if, I, I if, if you still need to spend time with your ex girlfriend, you don't need to have a wife. So I have two 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 schools of thought on this. Which one leaves you sleeping <laughs> on the couch tonight? <laughs> so number one, um it's not something I would I would ever do. I know. Uh one because like You're I said You're a big thinker. One because it's <laughs> if if they were just friends, it just completely friends like they went to school together like she worked at microsoft like whatever um that's one thing Mm -hmm. Uh, but the fact that they were in a real actual relationship um which probably had a certain level of intimacy 
um, those feelings, while they can just, like subside, Bill I, Gates doesn't look like the intimate type. I don't believe that they ever like actually fully go away. So, you know, I even if the intention was just to go and um, you know be there for the weekend, bounce ideas off of, brainstorm. You know, I got this problem in Microsoft. I'm trying to scale it this way. What do you think? You know, a beach house, long weekend. It's just it's just like the perfect storm for for things to kind of kind of go a certain way so i wouldn't do it uh i would not also be comfortable with my my wife doing it but if they were just friends i can see how mm, like if, if, if it was bill gets to spend one long weekend with his friend whatever uh his ex-wife's name is excuse me i apologize for not actually knowing knowing her name ex-girlfriend excuse me ex-girlfriend's name i apologize for not knowing her name it's like whitman uh, um so, some, some i think it starts with a w um if they were just friends and not not next you know ex boyfriend or girlfriend that'd be one thing i could probably get myself to be okay with it but yeah you know when it's when it's like an, an, an ex ex yeah you know, it's like mm. probably not but Mm-mm. look Mm-mm. this is but this is uh this is something i think most people don't understand in that when you're of a certain class when you are are of a certain have a certain level of distinction and wealth like you can walk down the street and everybody knows your name life is just different like you do things differently you have different pressures and you have different your relationships operate differently be- your marriage operates differently because you're famous you're in the public eye and sometimes you have to do things a little unorthodox or unconventional and those things can actually believe it or not, it can actually help your marriage. So I'm not here to say I'm all for, you know, allowances <laughs> in marriage, but I do also understand that I don't know what it's like to be married to someone as famous as Bill Gates. I hope to. That would be great if you just blew up and you had your own. So then I can get my weekends. I mean, we can talk about it. We friends we who talk are about it. Big thinkers. But you don't have any. You don't have any friends. I can find me as friends. <laughs> you don't just find friends. That's not how friendship works. You find you just those are just lackeys. If you go out and you find them because of your status, I can dig up some old friends. I'm just saying, it's life is a little different for people like Bill and Melinda Gates. So they may have to try things a little differently. Um, it's obviously something that they both consented to. So it's not like he was out just you know all willy nilly in the streets. Without Melinda's, you know, blessing, this is something that she signed off on. Look, um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I don't, wouldn't do I it. Like I said, this. But. and this is real evidence that Melinda doesn't have no real girlfriends because this is this is why diversity is important and you need ethnic girlfriends. Um, how, how are because, you making this? <laughs> because a, like if she had a black girlfriend or a Latina girlfriend, she then like says you go let. His ex girlfriend, who's his friend, we about to we about to go up to North Carolina. Like that's that's what true friends do. Over. They go and they rent the the beach house right next to this woman's beach house, and we get all FBI on them, and we watch and see what's going down. There's no like. Mm. The friends in, like, my real friends, and maybe that's the disadvantage of becoming a billionaire. You don't have real friends. Or you guys are so skewed in your secret cult lifestyles of being billionaires that you just don't have logic. The, it, like, the, mm, I don't, it, big, if you, if you need to be around a big thinker, that's what telephones are for. Like, people in your inner circle literally it's invented mobile phones not the same it, it, it's it it's, it's beyond me that as a woman she could allow her husband to go away for an extended weekend and i assume the terms are unknown that would just make me insecure over like i it's would not. just wonder um there are still people in david's life that he's that he's far not far enough but far removed from that i still have feelings towards that like just their their reference kind of like irks me a certain way so i can't imagine that your ex-girlfriend who is so significant enough to you as a big thinker that you have to spend an extended weekend with her you know the kicker that i know is gonna send you off and i also know you didn't read the article i did read the article um what's gonna send you off is that he actually asked his ex 
for her Perma- blessing. <laughs> we're married when when I read we proposed that part, to Melinda. That it, I was what, like, wow. What, you, a whole wow. Bill Gates, you had to get approval to marry wow. Melinda? And I saw this chick, like, she ain't even that cute. Like, this is, I don't, okay, again, this is their marriage and everyone's married. Because I know you once told me about, um, oh, he plays for the Spurs and his wife gives him, like, one groupie a year. Oh no, he he played for the Jazz. Uh, it's Andre thought, Andre Karolinko. It, it, it's, it's an allowance. I don't know if it's. Well, yeah, group a, and a groupie. He, he, he gets an allowance a year. One. No, no, no. You better get all holy like Steph Curry and like keep it together. No, this is the, it, it's just not okay. Like if you if you can't like if you cannot abide by the rules of marriage, whether it be like I feel like the biblical standard of marriage and the secular one kind of teeter. And it's supposed to be like this. If this don't work, somebody got to go. Like just sign papers, separate. But no, no. No, you don't need to spend an extended weekend with a bit. I would personally be insulted if because she's a big thinker like that. Like it just shows that her intellect is you're trying to claim that her intellect. No, is so at, no, what you're not going to do, what you are not no, going to do I is be this clear. thing that you're about to no, do. No, I want to be clear. I'm not defending. No, that's, I'm very, not defending. But that's very hurtful because no. I've had I've I've felt like that before where, you know, you you your significant other tells you that there's something that they can get from this person. And it's not necessarily physical. It, 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 it can be big thinking or, you know, perspective. And that's very it, it can be diminishing because you're supposed to be this person's everything um i'm using a lot of air quotes um you're supposed to be there everything i thought you so, weren't feeling well <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't it's the liquid iv um look see it's it's brought me oh, back um liquid IV. so it's very like it can be very hurtful when like i've had it when david goes to guy friends for things like sometimes he'll call his mom for stuff and i'm like bruh i know this stuff too so what are you not going to do? Like one time he called his mom to figure out how to wash the tablecloths. And so I was what? like, so I what? do the laundry. So what you're and not- I was like, you're lucky I really love your mom. And like she and I have a great relationship. So what you will- or I would have felt, I, I like I already so felt the type of happen? way, but I would have felt like so insecure. Because like, why would you call her? So I can what imagine. What will not happen? What will not happen? Is you interrupting me. Is you I can imagine. Do I need to do it? Don't you see mute the my finger. mic. You see the finger. If you mute my mic, I'm not speaking for the rest of this episode. What will not happen is you will not bring Doris into this. I will bring Doris into this. And Doris is going to understand where I'm coming no, she's from. Not. No, she's yes, not. she is. No, she's not. Because she's a woman with sense. She's a big thinker. Bring my mom into this. So all my mom I'm was saying. My, my mom was minding her own business. All I'm saying. Now she, now she catching all strays. All I am saying is be your own, I know be what your own it people, feels mama. like for your significant other to tell you that they they need to reference someone else and how insignificant it can make you feel or how lacking it can make you feel because they feel that this person offers more of a perspective and I get it some people do put your skinny finger this is down my, this is, no this is my you know the zoom function raise your hand this is me raising my hand can put I it speak down. please I'm the host the host <laughs> the host is the, has muted your mic so I need to I, speak. I just I just think. If I was Melinda, that's what would hurt me the most, that she is. And I'm not saying that every thought, every issue David goes through, he should he needs to come to me. But if there is another woman, actually is what you just said. That is what I said, because (laughs) Loki, that is what he should do. I'm I'm wise. I'm wise beyond my years. I come with a lot. of. I, too, think big. (laughs) So I mean okay, I, Rachel, would just, I would just I would be hurt. So if I had to like and again I don't know her personally, so I can't put myself fully in her shoes, but I would imagine like the converse like the conversation of, you know, we just want to bounce ideas off of each other for a long weekend on a beach in North Carolina in her house. I mean, she's like a, a, a venture capitalist. Like, she's not like a basic chick. Like, I, I get it. She's also, you know, of substance of of significance, but that would just hurt me. That would hurt me a lot. Like I, I, but I, I mean, I am sensitive. I, I recognize that I am sensitive and I'm very much so sensitive. like, I am your joy and everything you need from this world, aside from like life that God gave you, everything else comes from me. Like when he smiles at his phone and some I know psych- I didn't send him anything, some- I'd be looking at him like, uh, sir, 
What was that? What was the Tyler Perry movie with Taraji where she went crazy? <laughs> Is that when she fl- somebody got flipped over the yeah. counter? Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. When she was she she was dating the dude who was a bum, and then he finally had his big break. But it was after they they got divorced or broke up. Oh, and then she tried to get him back. We watched it. We watched oh. it together. I can't remember what it was called, but that's you, you're giving me them kind of vibes right now. So I need you to calm down. Okay. I am your joy. I just need you to calm down. I am your sun, <laughs> your moon, your stars, your asteroids. So look, real quick. Um, your universe. I want to be very, very clear that this is not in defense of Mr. Bill Gates or Melinda because they both signed off on this. This is total defense. This is not. Uh, but there are, it is, it is unreasonable to think or to force your spouse or partner to feel like they have to go to you for every single thing because you can't satisfy every no 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 trying to be the one to fix it are two totally separate issues. If I, if there is something occupying your mind that is so heavy that it affects your mood around me, around our children, that it affects your health, I need to know about it. Yes. But that doesn't mean I have to be the one to solve the problem. So there, th- yeah, those are, I can go to my big thinker. <laughs> Please find your big thinker. So it's, un- I'm currently it's, in the market for a big un- <laughs> thinker. Please apply via DM. It is. It's not fair to, to say, I am your spouse, therefore I am your sun and your moon and your galaxy. And universe. So you can't I am you can't joy. ever go to anybody else for anything that you have trouble trouble over or that you're curious about. And let's face it, certain people they have they just have a chemistry and energy and, and they work differently than than they do with other people. Like I have very is a very specific number of friends I have who I can just be in the room with and I'm completely different than I am 99% of, of my day or, or my time. And it's just because our energy is different and we, and we hit it hits differently than it does with other people. So, you know, energy is a real thing and no, that can't be simulated over the phone. Um, sometimes, you know, constructive energy, it, it has to happen in the in, in the same space so you can feed off each other you can brainstorm and 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 do whatever like i said i wouldn't do it especially if it's if it's an ex um fortunately for me i don't really communicate with any of my exes which i only had like two anyway so <laughs> so you know so i i don't have that i don't have that dilemma uh if like i said if it's a friend that's one thing but even still their beach house just, just be, the, the idea of being in a beach house. It's I just, just like, don't get it's why she couldn't be, be there too. Be, be romantic. They should have a chaperone. Um, yeah, I mean, you start a whole so foundation with her. Why? It's like I said. It's, I'm not saying it's not unorthodox. I'm not saying it's. I it's, need a tell all. It's. I, I mean, have there's, been, there's, there are going to be some memoirs. I have been on a like a reading kick, and I've been trying to like focus on minority writers. I will make an exception. Because, no thank you. Because I need to know. I want your backwash bottom beer. Um, because I just want to know. I need to know what happened. I, I need to be in the room where it happened. What was happening? What are we thinking about? Were yeah, I don't know. Un- I don't, know, they signed I don't know what is in this, in this diuretic or, or whatever you took. <laughs> Hydration. No. But I, I just couldn't do just it. So, yeah, you know, like- applause to Melinda. I don't even know if this is something you applaud. Um because I just, I just, I just don't support it. I, I would have been fine if it was more so like, hey, they they are allowed to communicate. Even that, I'd be like, I need to be ninety seven. I need to be on that that other kitchen phone with my hand on and the rotary, bottom. Rotary listen. I need to be listening. I need to know transcribe. But an unsupervised visit, and she ain't married. No. Even if she was like, like people don't even take marriage. That's so is it? Anyway. So let me ask you. No. Let play, let me, no, 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 no. We we got a couple minutes for the for the next break. Let me play devil's advocate with you. The devil doesn't need an advocate. He is advocating for himself. Let me play. Just let me fine. let me play Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X is his advocate. <laughs> Montero's advocate. At which point, when he's coming down the stripper pole, the epic stripper pole. Um. Are you saying you don't want it to happen because you don't trust 
your spouse? Or are you saying because you don't trust your spouse's ex? I don't trust nobody. Uh, so why are you with somebody you can't trust? I, I can trust I can trust you and not trust you if you are put in a situation. Okay, so what you gonna stop doing is that thing. That's what I'm just mimicking you. Because I'm trying to get my words and make sure I speak eloquently. What I don't know. I don't trust the situation of my spouse and his ex girlfriend in a house on a beach in a romantic environment alone no i don't i can trust you as my spouse when you are alone in a beach house with another woman whom you probably formerly loved whom your penis entered her vagina at some point no i don't trust you look at how giddy you are off of one bud light platinum that's uh, that's speculation we don't know that that actually happened true because bill gates does not seem like the type look bill and melinda got three Um, kids all right i mean you don't need to have sex to have to have three kids they've I'm sure they've had they. They just don't seem like the type you seen of them, couple. You seen them kids? Them kids look exactly like them. I mean, you just get the sperm and the egg, and you put it in a petri dish and stick it in, in the womb. Okay. Like, it, Calm, it, I'm just we saying, don't need specific. They Calm just, down. They just don't look like the type of people who who would who like that's even a thing that they do. Like what? Who is raised it? you? John and Tina. <laughs> I'd like to have a word. Uh, please do. But I just, I, I just no, no. There are just certain things. That can happen. Certain, you know, you start going down the nostalgia lane, memory lane, talking about, oh, remember that time we, you know, backpacked through Europe and then we had to stay in that hostel and then and then we got soaking wet in the rain and the front door was locked and we couldn't get in. Or we went to Amsterdam and then we went to the red light district and we were, you know, getting legal marijuana and we didn't know and it was laced. and Like, I don't know. This just sounds like stuff that they would get into in the 80s because that was just stuff that white people did in the 80s. You have they an, amazing, an amazing imagination. Thank you. Um, and I'm actually visualizing this. So I just, no, I absolutely would not. Would not. No. So I'm interested uh, in anyone who would, who would come across this conversation. Uh, what are your thoughts? Would you allow your spouse to spend a extended weekend? So that's like that's either Thursday to Sunday or mm-hmm. Friday to Sunday. That might include and Wednesday. You know what? Billionaire Wednesday extended Sunday. weekend could just be the whole week. That's the whole week. Because your money working for you. Your money is working. Your money is doing all the heavy lifting. Would you allow your spouse to have one free weekend a year with their ex? To think big. Let us know. <laughs> To think big. Let us know in the comments. We're interested to hear your opinion in the comment section. And if this is something you've done, how has your marriage sustained? Yeah, don't, don't use like real names. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to get mighty in or trouble. If you know somebody who's done this, like just just let us know. I'm very yeah. very much so. But curious curious to hear the opinions of the uh, vibe track. But out I, there. I personally don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I, w- I would do it either. But you know, I'm not bi- I'm not a billionaire either. And I don't need to think big. Was he a billionaire back <laughs> yeah. then? I probably, but I don't need to think big neither. So you do need to think big, but you can think I mean, big I do, via but text I, I don't message. have, I don't have anyone who that's what clubhouse is for. Look at God. Like <laughs> nah, nobody uses clubhouse no more, but anyways, uh, we're going to take another break. We'll be back with our next relationship oriented topic. So I guess this is the episode, just relationship vibes, I yes. guess. So we'll be back. Don't go anywhere. And we're back. Mm. Like we never left. Rush vibes in the building. So we just came off of um, Jessica admitting that she doesn't trust her spouse enough to allow them to spend an extended weekend with an ex ex colleague <laughs> or ex wife. So um, ex on that on that subject of relationships, male female, um, there was a video that surfaced last week <clears throat> of Steve Harvey. Now, this video is, uh, I believe, at least several years old, um, where Steve Harvey uh, basically is speaking to the fact that men and women can't be friends, or he can't be friends with women, because that's just not how um, it's supposed to be. So I want to play the clip. I want to play the, play the clip. It's only about a minute long, so we'll play it here. We'll listen to it, and then we'll, we'll react to it. So here it is. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? And, what do you mean? Well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, 
Okay, let's get rid of this <laughs> myth right here. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor. And trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. And you think this way? 99.9% uh, .9 of us think that way. So there you have it, Mr. Uh, Family Feud himself. Mm hmm. Speaking, uh, speaking his mind, and the way that you're looking, I'm inclined to presume that you agree. Would yeah. I be correct? Yes, I agree with the percentage. I, I won't blank it. You might as well. If you're gonna say ninety nine point nine, you might I was as well blank say 99 it. Ninety nine point eight. Oh my gosh! Percent effective. Um. I just I d speak on it. Say it with your chest. <laughs> I'm just trying to think big before I release these statements. I, I th and there are people who will genuinely say this is untrue. Like, oh yes, you can be friends with opposite sex. Um, I personally, from me and my house, we will have same gender friendships. Whose house? Me and my house. House, house, Nasaya. As for me and my house, Jessica, the book of Jessica, the book of Jessica. We, I, I don't, I just don't think so because one, not even just male, like the from the male perspective. I also think from the female perspective because attraction is such a complex thing. People assume attraction is always physical. Attraction, big thinkers, huh? Um, attraction can be the mind and it doesn't take much before conversations can slide moments can slide and it depends on the depth of your friendship I I think when I, I want to make sure I say this right actually I don't care um I, I'll, oh. I'll take any feedback that comes to me, oh, but um, okay, getting okay, getting bold on rush vibes. I am getting Let's bold. hear it. I, I'm ready. I for, I'm have, ready for it. Birdman hands. I don't have any male friends. Um, I have male acquaintances, none that I'm extremely close to. Uh, you know, IG like somebody who post like share a silly story, ha check in on on people. You know who are who are they. You know who they are because I, I tell I, want, I, I literally tell you. I want, but I want you know names. we have a different kind of relationship. David want, has the path. Can you just be? I want their, I want their addresses. Be quiet. That's you what I need you to do. <laughs> That's what I need you to do. Be quiet. I want to know who they are. He like David. Where they, David, where they work. shut your mouth, or I'm gonna go on an extended weekend somewhere. <laughs> So he day. has access to my phone. I don't really hide anything unless I'm trying to surprise him, and even that like he usually figures it out or I just tell him because I'm just, I just don't feel like keeping a secret. Um, I feel that when you have a friend of the opposite sex and you're in a marriage or you're in a significant relationship, you end up exposing that person and you give that friend of the opposite sex insight so they know where the weaknesses can come in. Um, I feel that at some point in any opposite gender friendship, um, that's straight, there's a moment of attraction. There's, there's, it, it could just be, and, and it doesn't have to start from physical. It could genuinely just be, you know, we vibe like this person gets me like, yeah, we've been friends since middle school, but you know, even if it was in middle school or if it was in high school and like, just there's a way you can connect with people on a deeper level and it's not always physical. So I always feel that there's, there's opportunity for attraction. Um, even if you're not looking for it, I do agree with some of his points, you know, females, we're really good about being like, yo, this is my dude. No, like right now, nothing's going to, 
get in the way of that. Um, I do believe that there are some men out there who are like, yo, I'm just going to see. I'm just going to hang. I'm just going to hang. She a good, she a good woman. Like, you know, he might be cool with old boy. Like he won the homies, you know, he'll invite him out with the, his boys just to, you know, to, to make it seem like, you know, he's trying to, and I, I think there are some genuine people who are like, this is my best friend or this is my good friend who happens to be of the opposite sex. And, you know, we are past the point of attraction, but I don't know that I don't want David having a female friend and confiding in a female, a woman, um, about what issues we have in our relationship. I just don't think that's proper. Um, because again, it opens the door. It doesn't take much for conversations to shift. It doesn't take much for that relationship to take a new level. And then, you know, that person becomes your advisor and that person becomes, you like, you get to a level of intimacy that not necessarily physical, but an emotional intimacy. And that's when, you know, attraction grows and, and, and you're trying to get more. I think it's just, it's a dangerous road to walk on. So it's just not worth walking on. Like you're married you're in a significant relationship, I'm going to fall back. I've done it. I've had male friends in the past. And, you know, they you, they get with a girl, and old girl's kind of like, mm, I'm not really feeling the fact that you've got, you know, all these women friends around you. And I've, I've fallen back because I respect it because I know that's what I would want another woman to do. Uh, hadn't always happened for me like that. But that's just me respecting another woman. Now, when their relationship is solid and rock, rock hard, all that good stuff that, and then I can, you know, be slowly in, reintroduced. I've had that happen, but for the most part, no, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's imp absolutely impossible. I don't think it's necessary. Was that all? No. Okay. What else you got? I have to wait for you to say something. So, I can interrupt. <laughs> so you can interrupt me. Um, so I, uh, I, I acknowledge that Steve Harvey said 99.9% .9 of men. So I can't say that he said all men. And I said 99.8. And you said 99.8 yesterday. But, uh, I think that is, even though he didn't say all men, I, I, I feel like, um, this is a bad take. Um, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a bad mindset to think that, um, as a man, um, I can't be interested in having a, uh, friendship with the woman, um, based on any of her other qualities, other than the fact that she may be attractive, be it mentally or, or physically, um, they may have similar interests in sports or cigars or finance or reading and there's 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 a commonality there um and thus there can be a friendship where all you discuss are those things that you have in common um and they just happen to be of the opposite sex so uh, i there have been plenty of women who i've been around be it either through work or uh just friends or school or whatever uh, who i've enjoyed their company i've enjoyed being around them i've enjoyed having conversations with them and while they may have been uh attractive while they may have been intelligent and smart and witty um i had i was not attracted to them uh, my interest in them was only those things that we had in common um and i think it's just it's i don't know it's a uh, interest is the foundation of attraction Sure. Interest is the foundation of friendship. <laughs> and friendship is the foundation of attraction. No, uh, friendship you should... You have to be attracted to someone in a capacity to be their friend. Friendship should be. No, you don't. That's absolutely not true. You don't have to I, be I'm attracted to someone. Physical. There has to be some kind of character attraction that yeah, makes me you want could, to be no, your you friend. No, you could have an interest. Which is the foundation of attraction. Okay. But that has absolutely, that has absolutely no guarantee that that has to lead to lust or desire. So you're just assuming... You're just going the lust route. Attraction isn't always. No, I said lust or, or attraction or desire. Carry on with your ill point. No, it's not an ill point. It's okay if you disagree, but it's not, it's not an ill point. I'm going to call it an ill point. No, 
whatever. Because it's those interests that can lead to. So I'm not. I'll watch sports. I'm not a big sports person. Uh, I played a few sports in high school, but I'm not. I'm not that sports girl. So yeah, I feel a type of way if there's a woman in his life who's like die hard into basketball, and you know he's over here having like full on basketball conversations and in why because because what that's that's how it starts no it's not yes that's how it can start <laughs> that's how it can start but that's that's how it that's so again literally how so again what this comes down to is the fact that in a hypothetical sense because this isn't a reality in a hypothetical sense you don't trust the person you're with because if that's the case how do you know that they if if you're if you're if you're with a man how do you know that he won't get really excited or really interested in a guy who he's talking to sports with and end up realizing that he's gay. Like, you, how do you know that that's not a possibility? I don't want you close to nobody. <laughs> like, literally, that's what it boils down to. Like, I don't want you talking to anyone. Like, if we're, if we're not able to if have... If they're not in your bloodline, like, you if, don't need to have a relationship. And even that, like, we don't need yeah. to go past second cousins. So like, I, y'all can just... So I, I, I'm just saying, I disagree. I, I'm just I, saying I because I've seen it. I've seen it happen. And I watch those a lot. Are, I, I, just let me finish. No, because I never finished my point. So why oh, would I let you finish, finish your when, point? When you interrupt. No, I, told you, I already told you I was going to interrupt. Go you ahead. When you made points. Go ahead. I, I, I've seen it happen. I, I have a, a, an understanding yes. of how it happens. You've seen every, every male, male, female interaction in the entire no, world. No, I mean, I've seen it happen the, the, in my life. The percentage I've been of, around the it. The percentages that you've seen I, are, are I know majority. how yes. it is. It starts. It's something small. It's it's a commonality that you both share. And then it's like, okay, well, what else do we have in common? And then it can keep going. And then it's it's something simple as you and I get into a disagreement about something. And I'd be like, this dude's really, like, can't put his clothes in the hamper. And then it just, it, it, it can spiral from that. Like, I, just, I just missed. It, it can spiral why that left? that simply. So right. I think that's why I see it. But, you know, it's funny that you're taking such a defense because from the other side, you would have you would feel some type of way about a male like you're saying it from your perspective. Yeah, you're a decent guy. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're a decent guy. Yeah. But like Whatever. even decent guys can flick can fall short. We all fall short of the glory of God. But like. I don't. I, I want to make sure it's known that even good people can slip, and even things. Well, then let's just everybody stay in the house. Then we should. Let's not go like out. you over here talking about coworkers, are like you are never go going out. back to an office to work. Let's not go ever out again. I'm about to start watching your 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 your, your little not, chats. Let's not go out. Let's just have DoorDash and, and Instacart bring us that everything. Works, that works for me. Don't have only pre, only people you need to interact with me. is your spouse if you have one, and your and your and kids. Your kids. But your spouses also tell you to go away whenever you try to spend yeah, all your time with stop them. So it's being very, annoying. very interesting. You, it's a fine line. Yeah. All I'm saying is that it's not impossible. It's just you have to be very intentional. Nobody's saying Can it's impossible. Can you let me finish speaking? No, I can't because you're you're. You one. have to be very intentional about your actions, your how you converse with someone, what information you uh, you release to that person regarding your relationship, and how intimate you allow your your connection to grow. Because it doesn't it doesn't take it. It's very easy. It's very like you don't realize it's very easy for someone to pivot. You know, you think you're in a great relationship and then, you know, this friend comes along and you're chit chatting and I'm telling you, nostalgia lane is a dangerous so street. Why is it always assumed that just because I'm speaking to someone of the opposite sex that I, that my relationship would come up, that I would discuss my I'm relationship not saying at that. all. I'm just saying but that's, it what, could. that's an example you're using. That's, but no, but that's listen first, to, no, listen I am to listening, what I said. I, am listening I to said what you have saying. to be very intentional about what information that's you an release example you went to. because you cannot you give someone foundation you don't know someone's malice like people can seem like good people but they might want what you want what you have so i think i think this what this boils down to is some people are uh there's there's a level of insecurity in some people and that they can't uh, they can't Imagine their spouse speaking to someone or spending time with someone of the opposite sex without wondering, oh, I wonder if they find them attractive. Oh, I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, I wonder where they're so going. So you'd be I perfectly comfortable with me having friends of the opposite sex? Sure. 
You're I would give that. I would I would give you hell about it. I would be like, I want to know where you live. I would make him come in here like like a, like our daughter's prom date. <laughs> Show my fine line of water guns and let water him know. Guns. Let him know. I got a super soaker with his name on it. Well, that's good to know. See, I so, was respecting you and not having friends of the opposite sex, but I well, you know what? There was a time when we were dating, and you did have friends of the opposite sex, and I, I and I dealt with it. So it's not. But you didn't de- deal with it in a happy sense, and you had friends of the opposite sex, and I was very vocal. And I will say that some of them did everything that I knew a woman to do that made them suspicious. So there was there was this one friend that. If I didn't, if he changed his Facebook status, if I didn't comment on, if I commented on it, she wouldn't like or comment on it. If I didn't get to it in time, she would comment or like, like she would comment and like it. And I know it seems, it might seem so petty, but these yeah, are the little seem, things. It seem petty, these petty. are the little things that you observe when, at least from when a woman perspective. When you're paranoid. No, you're, not paranoid. It was Taraji, something I genuinely, I genuinely watched. If I commented on a status or liked a status, she would not. And this is someone who, oh, we're just friends. We're just friends. Oh, you know, we just talk. We just text. Blah blah blah. I was like, she wants more. Like she recognizes you're a good dude. Like, I mean, I'm with you. So acrimony. I, that's Did the movie. Did you really go look it up? Acrimony. Acrimony. Jess, right. is ta- Jess is, is, um, is Taraji and so Acrimony. It's just, it's just I, know, I know how people, I know how women, some women can work. And I also know how some dudes can work. Like, dudes can flat out be like, yo, he's not, he's not good for we you. We have to understand that the amount of people we encounter in a lifetime are a small fraction of the total population of people in the country let alone the entire world so your little corner of interactions with male and female that you both observed and have been through are not are not the majority of mindsets tendencies of people in the world that's what we have to get out of have to get out of our way and i do it too i'm guilty of it just as well those are exceptions those are not the rules there are plenty of men and women walking around who are just fine being friends because they failed at their relationship. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm Or because it wasn't the right time. Oh, goodness. Okay. We're going to agree to disagree on this one. Yeah. Because you're wrong. So, um... <laughs> I'm going to go dig up some old, some old Oh, friends. man. Some old male friends. Um... So we got like, we got like, we got like eight minutes. So this is really this, this, the next thing I want to talk about just plays on the heels of this so we can just roll with it and then just wrap up if you want um there was a post another another post i think it was last week or week before last that went kind of viral on social media it was like normalized friendship dates if everybody's single (laughs) um go on a date with your friend where the there there was a brother and um and 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 a woman cat i don't know what what ethnicity what ethnicity she was forgive me but um I think she was black. She, she, was had, black-ish. A, she had a she had a high she slit had a high, high slit, slit high slit dress, and you know he had the little tight suit. He look they look good with with the chest hair taco taco chest showing, um, taco meat chest showing, and it was like yo, let's normalize friendship dates. And of course, you know this is a perfect perfect topic for people to go wild, run wild in the comments. So there was a lot of dudes in there like like nah, bro, you know the way she wearing that dress. <laughs> My little head gonna be gonna be thinking with my little head, stuff like that. And um Cause you're not a big thinker. <laughs> you're not a big thinker. Actually you're you are a big thinker if you're thinking with well, I don't, I don't anyway, know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But that. anyways, um Yeah, so how do, how do you feel about friendship dates? No, they didn't go in, in deep at least um there's no there's, there's no, no extra contact so we don't know and if I he's single I didn't she's do, single I didn't do research, i'm assuming they're so. both single um i'm fine with it if everybody's single um she looked beautiful i'm not gonna take that away i she mean she good. was wearing that dress she looked good um he looked good like they looked they he looked okay. good okay. um and the idea is cute because i think about it, like you know girlfriends go on brunches together they go on girls trips um so i'm not i'm not against it as long as everybody's single. Um, so would you let your spouse go on a friendship date with a, a woman, a single woman? You can go to get coffee and have your location settings on. 
and let me know so, what coffee shop you go to. So you could be there. You could be in the so back with, can, your, with your newspaper. So I can show up <laughs> with, with my big hat and sunglasses peering over. Um, so the answer is no. Not a, not a, to use the word date is so strong because date has implications. Um, right. And I, and I wouldn't imagine that someone who's in a relationship would use the word date. Yeah. I don't, I don't think so. That, that, that's, I, that's an unfair yeah, question. I think date, date is different. If you're like meeting up with someone and I mean, they were, they just looked really formal. Yeah. They looked great. I, like I'm not, no, they, I'm they, not going to take they, that away. They look fabulous. Um, I think if they are, again, if they're both single and they're both like, yo, we're friends, we're not dating anyone. Let's, let's treat yourself. Let's treat each other. Let's let me, let me take you out. Maybe she had a rough day at work. Maybe like, maybe he's gen, he like, I felt like he was genuinely being a good friend. Like, yo, let let me, let me do this for you. Get dressed up. Like it's been a pandemic. Maybe Tinder ain't been working out for you. Get, get dolled up. I, I'm gonna take you out. Maybe someone canceled a date on her, and from there it was like, you know what? Let's make friendship dates normal. Like I'm gonna take you out and take care of you, um, because I'm your friend. I care about you. Again, we don't know how the night ended. We like we don't know if they're friends with benefits. Remember that's still a thing. Um, like they they could have hooked up. Nothing could have happened at the same time. Um, I know I saw some comments where people were like, and he paid for it. Like if he paid for it, like cool, thank you. Um, no, we, we we had to go half we in a friendship. Oh, date. really? I'm saying. For we just friends, right? See, <laughs> see, see. Okay, I'll be curious to see I'm your cheap. point. I'm cheap anyway, though, because um, like, I, I almost make Jessica pay, but it all comes out of the same account. <laughs> so he does. I might he, as well you know, just pay for it. Like you got this. I'm like, I'm it's like, just, like it's just different names on the like, debit nah, card. You are, you are an extra app. You, it comes from the that. same account. He has made me app. like owe him money, and I'm like, I'm just gonna pull it out of our debit you our, me, our account. You owe me a lot. Um, so yeah, if they're both like. I have no problem with friendship dates um, because I do go out with my girlfriends. Like, let's go have a girls' night. Um, I wouldn't do that as a married woman with males. Like, if it, it and I think it has to be. I think there's significance with group settings. So if it's several friends, like, okay, two girlfriends and a, and and our male friend comes along, okay, then you've got the balance of of like the canceling out. So it's not a an intimate date. So I think. I, I support friendship dates. Take your friends out on dates. Treat yourself. Go to the spa. Go play putt-putt. Get dolled up and go have a fancy steak or whatever you want for dinner. Take your silly selfies and all of that stuff. Um, I think, you know, people were real judgmental. I do think, you know, it does come off as small-minded that if everybody is single, if everybody is single, single, that they shouldn't be able to hang out and there be nothing to it. Now there's still a piece of me that feels like they had a chemistry in the past that just didn't work out. Like, and they're kind of like, Hey, we're just going to be friends and we're going to go on dates. It's pure speculation. Yeah. I'm speculating. I don't know. I don't know them from, yeah. from no one. Um, because I just, I just have a belief that there's always, there's always something. There's always some kind of, connection uh there's a rare occasion where there's not so like 97.8 percent of the time so there's 0.3 percent of the time that there's there's no connection so yeah i thought it was cute i thought it was fun if it's just exactly what they said it was and you don't really dig into it friendship date i'm going out with my homeboy i'm taking my homegirl out by all means do it have fun post pictures like that's really really cute Maybe yeah, he's gay. I ain't got a problem with it. I think it's cool. I think it's uh, it's great, especially if you're like young working professionals who you know your career is just really dominates a lot of your time, and you have friends who have who have a similar you know similar situation. Maybe you're both lawyers, both doctors. You're like, hey, let's you know let's go out, you know, get dressed up. We'll go out. We'll have a good time. So or maybe one of you's broke, or maybe one of you's broke. I, I think it's you know I think it's cool. It's a good thing to see. It's good to see, like I said, men and women being able to just go out. And just have a good time without there being any like underlying intentions or people speculating that their underlying intentions are just people going out enjoying good company, um, good vibes. So, um, yeah, but to anybody who's out there like, no, man, like, just stop, just stop it, stop it. 
It is possible. Stop it. I'm not saying it's impossible. I think it's possible. And I thought it was cute. Their pictures that they posted. I didn't dig in the comments too deep because I was like, y'all doing the most. But I do think it was cute. Yeah. So this is uh, probably the second shortest Rush Vibes episode ever. I really like this new format. I like taking that first break early so that it gives us actually more time to uh, discuss Argue. before before getting in Thank before you. getting too too long winded. So um yeah, like I said at the beginning of the episode, if you're new to new to the channel, if you just started watching us recently and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead hit that subscribe button. This is us. This is how we are. This is how we are in real life. This is how we are in front of the camera. We just we just gonna hear and we vibe. We talk about whatever. This is our built in date night because the kids are in bed and we get the time to ourselves to uh you know chop it up. So connect with us on social media, Facebook, Instagram and um, episode 25 of Rush Vibes in the books. We have some guests coming up here pretty soon. We're taking a little break from having guests on because we want we didn't want to get away from our bread and butter, which is just us. But we definitely have some more uh, local uh, guests from Charlotte, you know, coming in. Also, some some people outside of Charlotte who are uh, pretty cool, pretty important. So stay tuned for that. New episodes every Wednesday on your audio or a podcast platform of choice, and obviously here on YouTube as well. So I'm going to go ahead and play the music. You should be hearing Jay Bell right about now. So, thanks again for tuning in. If you're still in the pandemic, be safe, social distance, think big, wash your hands, think big. If you've got a vaccine, great. If not, go ahead, get it. Treat yourself. Love you guys. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for tuning in. We out. We'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah, I done came way too far to stop me now.